Hey everybody, Roger Levin here with your specialty practice pearl of the week. If I was gonna put a title on this one, and I usually don't title these, I call it Delegate, Delegate, Delegate. Or I might call it Delegate, Don't Abdicate. Or I might have a lot of other names for it. So what I wanna to talk to you about today are three rules of delegation that are gonna help your practice increase production right now and in the future. The first rule is delegate everything you're legally allowed to delegate. Go to your state board regulations, see what you're required to do as a specialist, see what the staff is allowed to legally do, and start a process, remember those words, a process, I'll come right back to that, of delegating everything they're legally allowed to do. Now. That's a great idea. It will make you more productive, more effective, more efficient. Is this important? Let me put it this way. Specialists are taking longer and longer to reach financial independence. There are a lot of reasons for that, like student loan debt that I won't go into today, rising taxes, inflation. Okay, you got the idea. And what I wanna point out is everything you do that reduces production or doesn't allow production to grow adds minutes, hours, days, weeks, months, or years to when you will reach financial independence. Now, when you delegate, you add to your productivity. You can be more productive. The only thing that slows you down when you delegate from being more productive is having enough patience, and of course, that's referral marketing strategy and a referral marketing process. Now, when you delegate, you delegate gradually. If you overload your team all at once because you're on a delegation kick, they can't handle it. Even if they're capable of doing each task, it's too much, too fast, and they will fail. So you delegate gradually, but your goal is all legally allowable tasks are done by the team. Number two, delegate, don't abdicate. We meet specialists who come to us after great delegation. Well, that part sounds pretty good. The problem is, and they're gone. They, they got on a kick, they heard something, they read something, and they're delegating everything, and don't bother me, and leave me alone. And when you delegate, you have to check back in. So that's number two. Delegate, but check in. I believe it was Ronald Reagan that said, trust but verify. Well, this is delegate, but check back in from Roger Levin. And if you don't check back in, you don't know how they're doing, you can't help them, guide them, mentor them, and they're, they think they're being accountable even if they're getting it wrong. So delegate, don't abdicate. And third is don't take delegation back. There was an article, I think it was 1956 or so, in the Harvard Business Review called Who's Got the Monkey? Landmark article. And in that article, it also talked about how when you delegate, people have a natural tendency to try to give it back. It also said, if they give it back, you have it forever. You Once they give it back, your chances of giving it back again, like a tennis ball in a match, are pretty low. So when you delegate, people want to give it back. The way you handle that, is help them understand that this is now their task, they are responsible, they are accountable, and you will be checking in. Those are three steps of delegation. I promise you this will raise your production probably by eight to 10% based on my observation all these years and all the specialists we've worked with in management. And it's one of the first great steps of leadership and it will help you to become a great leader. As always, I wish you increased practice production and referrals every year, and I'll see you next week.